great because it's really easy to make into strips. And ideally you want these strips one to two inches wide. So you want to rip <laughs> like this. You want to rip from top to bottom. You see how nice that is? Now watch what happens if I try to rip it this way. Ugh. If I try to rip it horizontally, it doesn't want to tear that way. It wants to tear vertically, but from top to bottom. You can even grab a few pages and do it at the same time. This is why newspaper is such a great medium for paper mache. If you're going to be using magazine pages for your paper mache project or notebook paper, here's a really easy way to make it into strips. Just grab two sheets, hold the ruler against it, and tear it. And the ruler should keep it in a fairly straight line. So again, you want to rip your paper into one to two inch strips. And use whatever paper you have. This paper seems like it's pretty absorbent. Some papers it kind of has a glossy coat and it's a little bit more difficult. So again, just press your ruler down, grab a few sheets, and tear down. You're kind of lifting up and away. This can save you a lot of time. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. Tear up enough paper for you to use. And again, if you're using a notebook, let's pretend this is like my math homework. Start at the edge and move towards the center. Grab a few sheets. That didn't work quite so well. Tear down. Okay, so we're getting some pretty nice strips. So remember one to two inches. Tear up your pieces. And the next step is making your paper mache paste.